In the history of science over 4,000 years, the first thing you realize is that it's non-linear and sometimes the same idea keeps coming back again and again. The universe is some kind of mathematical object comes from ancient Greece, but the idea has morphed over time, evolved into many different faces because there can be many different mathematical objects. Once again, the Pythagorean idea that it's based on numbers, specifically prime numbers, is coming into focus again. The conversation between Freeman Dyson and Montgomery in 1972, where they discovered that the energy spectra that were coming from certain atoms like erbium were corresponding very closely to the zeros of the Riemann zeta function, which encodes information about the prime numbers. And that's startling because how can something fundamental in physics be related to something as abstract as prime numbers which, um, which don't really exist except in the mind. Do, do numbers have a reality outside our mind? Because prime numbers are not divisible by anything except themselves, 2, 3, 7, um, 19, they are like atoms of the number universe. So what if um, the prime numbers themselves were like a gas which has been frozen at a certain frequency? That's the pattern you see in, the, um, in nature in, in many, many places. Are prime numbers trying to arrive at the perfect time so that they achieve something maximally? For instance, um, 19 arrives just after 17. Uh, why is that? Are the prime numbers behaving like a physical system of bus drivers in Mexico? Drivers who look at um, passengers who are just getting on and get this information from them, they actually pay them. Think, when, is, when did the last bus leave? And they try to time the arrival of their own bus uh, in such a way that they get a maximum uh, number of passengers. Why should something which is entirely a construct of the human mind exhibit properties which are exhibited by physical systems? So you see this periodic cyclic pattern in the planets, you see it in life, and somehow um, if a number divides another, they will interact, chikaras. Um, and the chikaras are eaten by another species um, called Y. So X is eaten by Y. Um, so if the life cycle of Y is divided by X perfectly, if it's 21, it's divided by 7 perfectly, then all the chikadas would be obliterated. But if the life cycle of the chikadas is a prime number, it, um, it sort of will obliterate all of the species because it cannot be divided by a predator. If you bounce around a ball inside a circle, infinite number of times, what are the chances it's going to travel two centimeters inside a um, 10 centimeter circle? What are the chances it's going to travel the whole 10 centimeters, which is the diameter of the circle because that's the largest. So that's exactly what the prime numbers seem to be doing. They seem to be bouncing around in some kind of closed space like a gas and that's absolutely insane because it should not happen.